Yeah, Sherry, Sherry was, she's a delight to be around. I mean, everybody at church just loves her. Everybody that works with her loves her. And she's, she's a happy child. The day that Sherry was born, she weighed eight pounds and 11 and a half ounces. And she was a, a beautiful baby, but she had the hair, blonde hair, and it just stood straight up on her head. <laughs> she was a delight. When we dis discovered her disabilities, it was kind of devastating. You just don't dream about that happening to you. You done had her six months and you carry her to this doctor and he tells you this. I didn't understand. I didn't understand why it was happening to me. Why I thought I'd done something wrong. I did. I thought God was punishing me for something I'd done wrong. And, and, I, and I don't know why I felt that way, but I did. And she didn't speak a word till she, she was three years old. She'd point and do stuff like that. But I don't never forget the first time she said, Mama, it tickled me to death. We had stopped in, at McDonald's and she said, Mama. She was three years old. When she got out of high school, I carried her the waves because I, didn't, I, I wanted to get her out of the house. I wanted her to have a job. They placed her in several jobs till they found one that fitted her. She'll tell you it's like she loves it. She loves her boss. She gets up in the morning, talks about him. She comes home talking about him. She goes to bed talking about him. <laughs> that's where she, that's, that's Sherry. <laughs> Sherry's in the house. <laughs> so how she acts every day when she comes to work. You tell her Sherry's in the house. I like the people that I work with. I like to get all of my work done. I want to fill those dressings up. And I fill those salad bowls up. And I restock. I do the dishes. I take the boxes out. With waves, I believe it works real well with them because it gets them out of the house. It gets them away from their parents, sheltering them. They're with people like myself and my coworkers. Uh, even the people that come in the cafe, they know Sherry. Personally, I probably would never met Sherry without Waves. Uh, she's one of the best assets to my company, I believe. But her attitude is always positive, and it, and it reflects with the other employees. They see Sherry and, they, and, they, and things of that nature, and I believe it actually builds the morale up in my, in my kitchen here. What do you think about Waves? <laughs> I like it. We have a Jaws Club, and we go out once a month. We watch movies, we go bowling, sometimes we go fishing, sometimes. When I think about Sherry's future, it's, it's kind of scary, but I think she would be okay in uh, cooking and cleaning in that area. But she needs somebody to overlook her, be sure that she's took care of. I'm hoping that uh, she can get where she can stay by herself. That's a goal that maybe, you know, me and my husband be able to get to, you know, do a few things since we retired. It's a comfort to me that Waves can, after me and her father is gone, that they'll still continue to come get her, carry her to work where she still can be working and she'll be happy and, and, and have her place in life consider giving to ways because they need this. If they didn't have this, they'd be just left sitting back in the corners. Sherry has come a long ways just since she's got out of school. And I think ways is a lot of it. But I don't know what I would do without ways. I think she found her place in, in life. I mean, she found a place that she could be comfortable at. She fit right in. <laughs>